Oh, good morning to you. <clears throat> hey, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Powerful, powerful verse in the Bible. So let me just read it to you from the King James Bible, and then we'll just take a little time here to explain it. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord. Now, this is important that you get this. This is what the Lord is saying. And he's saying here, I know the thoughts that I have toward you. Well, watch this. I know that I thought have the, well, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Now, we're going to take that apart. It may take a couple of days to do it. God said, I know what I think about you. So he's got me on his mind. Watch. And it's for good things. He said, the thoughts that I have to, towards you are not of evil. So in other words, that old religious idea that God's going to make you just bear up under those problems and beat you over the head with the two before and, you know, perfect you whether you want to. It's not true. God said, I'm not thinking thoughts of evil towards you. He said, I know the thoughts that I have towards you and they're not evil. So God's not thinking, well, let me think what bad thing I can do to Frank to make, make him straighten up or, or whatever. No, that's not it at all. He said, I'm going to read it again. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, the capital L there, thoughts of peace and not of evil. I'll say it again, not of evil, to give you an expected end. Now watch this. God's thinking of me, Psalm 112, might be Psalm 115, says the Lord's got me on his mind, and he's got me on his mind for good things. So let's look at this word here, for I know the thoughts that I have towards you. He says, thoughts of peace. That word peace, there's shalom. Thoughts of peace. Shalom's a big, 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 big word in the Hebrew. It's so big that we can't even really explain it in English words, but it's, it's completeness. It is deliverance. It is total health. It is blessings coming on you and overtaking you. So when God's got me on his mind, it's thoughts of peace, deliverance, protection, divine health, lots of money. All that is involved in the word shalom for peace. So <clears throat> God's thinking good things toward me. I heard one person put it this way, and I love this translation. The word peace, a good translation for it is nothing broken, nothing lacking. <laughs> well, let me read this to you that way. I know the thoughts that I have toward you, saith the Lord, nothing broken, nothing lacking, and not evil that is broken things and lacking things. So God's saying that to us. He's saying to you today, I'm a good God. I'm a good, good father. And I got you on my mind for good, good things. I'm just going to read it again the way I read it the last time. For I know the thoughts that I have toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of nothing lacking, nothing broken, abundance, blessings, divine health, not being sick at all, not having to be concerned about a cold or the flu or, or, or cancer or emphysema or diabetes or, or heart failure. God doesn't think that towards you. He thinks you're all going to have a long life. Psalm 91 tells us that, that if we dwell in the secret place of the Most High God, we should live a long life and whatever it takes to get us fully satisfied. I went fishing yesterday. Got up there and had a flat. Got a little frustrated over the flat. And I began to realize, you know, I ought not be driving an old truck and an old boat to go fishing, even though I enjoyed fishing. I ought to have the best of the land. Because the Bible says that if we be willing and obedient, we shall eat the good of the land. That means eat the good of the land. You know, when Pat and I first got married and our first couple of kids, the only meat we had for a couple of years was what I shot in the woods, stuff that I wouldn't even eat nowadays. I mean, we lived out in the country, and I'd go hunting with my little twenty two rifle that my dad gave me, and we'd get squirrels and rabbits, and I'd clean them, and that, that was the meat that we had because we didn't have enough money to buy meat. And I remember one day when we found out about prosperity, 
Pat went to the grocery store back in those days. You could talk to the butcher, they called them, the meat processor in a small country store. She said, I'm supposed to be eating the good of the land, and I don't even know what it is. She said, what's the good cut of meats? Because we'd never had anything besides hamburger and hamburger helper and, and the rabbits and the squirrels. And so she had to find out what the good cuts were. We didn't know. Um, we had to find out that you could have real orange juice rather than tang uh, and that you could buy fresh vegetables rather than canned ones. I mean, it was, it was quite a time for us as we were learning that God wanted us to enjoy the best of the land. He also wants us to wear the best of the land. He also wants us to drive the best of the land. God's got you on his mind, and it's for good things. Let me read it again. I'll close. For I know the thoughts that I have towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of shalom, peace, Love, joy, happiness, um, more than enough, nothing broken, nothing lacking, and not of evil to give you an expected end. Got to go. Come back to this tomorrow. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember all day, God's got you on his mind because Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.